This is Democracy Now! As we turn to the second part of our Democracy Now! TV radio broadcast exclusive, we went inside the Ecuadorian embassy in London last weekend to interview WikiLeaks founder and publisher Julian Assange. He's just entered his third year inside the embassy, where he has political asylum. Assange faces investigations in both Sweden and the United States. Here in the U.S., a secret grand jury is investigating WikiLeaks for its role in publishing a trove of leaked documents about the Iraq and Afghanistan wars, as well as state Department cables. In Sweden, he's wanted for questioning on allegations of sexual misconduct, though no charges have been filed. Let's go to that interview. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. We're in the Ecuadorian embassy in London, where Julian Assange has actually lived for more than two years. He has political asylum in Ecuador, but can't make it there, because he is concerned if he steps outside to get on a plane to Ecuador, the uh, British government will arrest him and extradite him to Sweden. And he's concerned in Sweden he would be extradited to the United States uh, to face charges around his organization, WikiLeaks, which he publishes. So, Julian, I'd like you to respond to Hillary Clinton, the former secretary of state, could be running for president. Uh, her comments on Edward Snowden. She was interviewed by The Guardian, which first released the uh, revelations based on the documents of Edward Snowden. Um, and if you could just uh, hit the first comment. Well, I would say, uh, first of all, that um, Edward Snowden broke our laws, and that cannot be ignored or brushed aside. Julian Assange, that first point of Hillary Clinton's. Well, it's always interesting when someone proclaims to be a master of what is within the law and what is not within the law. Uh, we've seen a lot with uh, Pentagon generals and other State Department figures, including Hillary. We've seen it in this case with General, An General Alexander uh, talking about what is the law and what is not the law. The former head of the NSA. Yes. But actually, in the end, in the United States, it's the Supreme Court that determines what the law is and what the law isn't. And part of this uh, decision part of what goes into the Supreme Court is the US Constitution and its First Amendment obligations. So whether uh, the Espionage Act is constitutional is a very interesting question and has not been properly tested before. In fact, the US government has been quite careful to not go to a proper appeal in relation to a conviction on the Espionage Act in order to keep the threat there and not find that it is unconstitutionally brought. So there, I think there is actually a question even as to whether Edward Snowden, through his activities, broke the law. But then you can even go, OK, well, if he did, was it in fact the correct thing to do? Maybe the law is out of date, maybe the law is wrong. Let's go to Hillary Clinton's next point. Uh, secondly, I believe that if his primary concern was uh, stirring a debate in our country over the tension between privacy uh, and security. There were other ways of doing it. Uh, instead of stealing an enormous amount of information that had nothing to do with the U.S. or American citizens. As a journalist, I have been working at various times on documenting what the National Security Agency has been doing in its burgeoning mass surveillance practice uh, for more than 20 years. And uh, other journalists, some of them very fine, have also been uh, uh, trying to expose the National Security Agency. And other whistleblowers have come forward. So Thomas Drake, William Binney, both from the National Security Agency, for example. Uh, but what was the problem? While we could point to, uh, based on a sophisticated analysis of what the National Security Agency is doing, say, look at this piece here, look at this little bit of congressional testimony, look at this, uh, look at the subpoena record, look at the technology that they are buying from this company, look at the number of employees, look at the DOD budget as a whole, and you add everything else up, you can work out the National Security Agency budget. That's a very complex picture, and that's not a picture that can generate political reform and debate. And what Edward Snowden did was, by bringing out classified documents uh, that were official documents, that were uh, even some of them just last year, uh, he was able to show even to people that didn't understand the complexity uh, of what was actually going on. So it's, we have proof people did try to start a debate using all sorts of methods. Uh, including former National Security Agency whistleblowers, and it's only primary source documents in volume that are probably capable of starting a debate about a complex issue like mass surveillance. Mm -hmm. 